impossible comebacks, pouring rain, zero visibility, drivers wiping themselves with a the rag while driving, and in the end, two idiots ending up in the gravel all alone. These are some of the crazy things that will happen in this race weekend. Let's start from the beginning. We are in Most, Czech Republic, where I'm doing my usual marathon. Three races with the Legend Cup, two races with the NASCAR, and today we talk about the Legend Cup. I'm coming back from the crap that happened in Vallelunga, where, if you remember, they sabotaged my car. Eh, cose, ragazzi. They unscrewed the wheel nuts, disconnected the electrical system, and crushed my fuel line. This one in particular killed my racing weekend, because for two races the car wouldn't go, and we didn't understand why. In the race 3 finally they fixed it, and the race was a carnage. Fights, overtaking, criminal closures. Luckily for me, Gaggianesi spun while well leading the race and lost some very important points. Giussani after that won after a phenomenal race, and so I finished in P3. After round 1 in Valencia this was the standings, but now the situation has turned around, and I find myself having to do it all over again. But you know what? I don't give up. Nobody ever drove a legend car on this track before, so let's find out what this track is like. There we go! Racing in the most for the first time in my life with the legend cars! I'm going to show you the track right now, we are in the L lap. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa! No! No, guys! The camera got loose, so yeah, I don't want to stop to the pit lane, so I'm just trying to fix it while driving. Uh, it's quite complicated. Okay, let me try to screw it with my hand. Okay, like this, like this. Oh, oh no, 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 it broke. Oh, dang, it broke. Uh, okay, so yeah, I, I just don't want to stop, so yeah, I keep driving, I put it between my legs, and yeah, imagine the track you will see during the race. <laughs> I can tell you how the session went though. He won with over one second and a half of the second. Guys, I am literally flying. Mamma mia, how good I feel here with this car on this track. Definitely having raced here before, it helps. So at this point, we're ready to go to qualifying. As you saw from the Euronascar video, it's pouring rain. And for the first time, we're racing in wet conditions with the leather car. So, are you ready to see my amazing pole position? Ha 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 yeah, you got it right. I applied this same exact stupid strategy from Vallelunga. I go slow in qualifying, make the worst possible lap time, so I start last and therefore get the four bonus points for the best comeback during the race. But you know, as somebody said, if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. So yeah, I will start last in the race. Will I be able to make a good comeback? Will it have been a good idea? But more importantly, will the track be dry? Wait, 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 everybody stop. I was forgetting about the wonderful thing that we did yesterday in the dry. My god. Now, have you ever seen a legend car versus a racing truck? Allora, siamo qua sul rettilineo perché stiamo facendo qualcosa di strano. Lui è Adam. He's Adam. Ciao. <laughs> We decided <laughs> to show the difference between the legend car and the truck. Look at this. My car. <laughs> It's too small. Yeah. And too big. Too big, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> How did you drift? It's very easy. You just... 1,200 horsepower. What? And six and a half, six and a half uh, thousand torque. Man. It's very easy. You Whoa. see, on the back. <laughs> I never seen a truck inside. Jump in. 
Oh, really? Yeah, I hold it. <laughs> I can do it. Whoa! It's not <gasps> it looks like a spaceship. Okay, so I understand the switch is here, but what is that? It's a one telemetry, second telemetry. Here you must adjust uh, the cooling of the water for the brakes, turbo, intercooler. Wow. We have 300 liters of the water on the start. Whoa, and 300 the liters yes. of water? But why do you use the water? To cool down the brakes? Yes. Okay. 500 degrees yeah. during the race, but when you don't cooling or when you lose the water, it's over 1000 and when it's over 1000, it's coming fire. <gasps> Very dangerous. So the driver not only has to drive, but also no. need to manage the water yes. properly. How do you decide how much water? You just check the temperature you and... You see the temperature or four wheel, the brakes temperature. Oh. And you must know how you must adjust. <laughs> wow, that's cool. So it means that from the start to the end of the race, it becomes much, much lighter, the truck. I mean, yes. 300 kilos. And 100 liter of the diesel. 100 liter yeah. for one race. Yes, it's consumption. It's more water than diesel. Really? It's ecological <laughs> car. <laughs> so, what's the weight of the truck? 5.2 tons. Yes. <laughs> tons. How do you shift the gears? 16 gears there. 16. Yes. But you mean you're, during the race you, you use, use all the only, 16? No, 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 no. You use, you use only rabbit. Okay. Four four gears okay and the four gear is everything on the half you have eight wow gears. <laughs> that's so cool well no guys i swear i discovered a crazy world 300 liters of water in a race to cool the brakes what are we talking about in the end talking about lap time how do they go is the truck faster or the legend car Legend car best lap in most. 154 truck best lap in most. 201. They are so close. Who would have thought? However, someday I will drive it. I promise you. So, the time has come. Fortunately for me, the track is dry. And why do I say fortunately for me? Because, in wet conditions, I actually focused on doing some good sectors to see how I was and I saw that I was not fast at all. On the contrary, I was quite slow. So, I don't know what kind of a comeback I could have made in rain conditions. In the dry, on the other hand, I was very fast. So, I can aim to do well. 16 minutes, 10 cars ahead of me. How many of them will I be able to overtake? I truly have in my hands a big opportunity, a big chance to make some very good points. I was flying in for practice so I can really try to get close to the podium or maybe a podium or who knows, maybe something even more. Let's see what happens now. We are ready for the green light. I can't see the light actually, okay. Where, where? There it is, there it is. Okay, boom, let's go, let's go, let's go. The start was good. Let me take the best possible toe. Guys, give me your slip stream because here the straight is so long. Look at that, look at that. Oh, five wide, six wide out there. Let's go. Ooh, I almost crashed into someone now. Let's not crash, at least in these first corners. Oh, whoa, somebody crashed into Gajanesi. Oh my God. Okay, I survived the first corner. I already gained five positions because somebody just cut the chicken. And there I am in P6 after just two corners. And now I can try to overtake another car. That's Susani. That's it. P5. I gained another position. And look at this. Look at how confident I am with this car and this truck. This is what I have to do. Just maximize as much as I can these first laps. And now we get into the second sector. Let me take the slip sprint of the cars ahead. Let's see what happens now. This actually, uh, this actually is not a straight, as you can see, just a sequence of very fast corners. Now we break for this uphill, right hand, fourth gear corner. Let me take the slip sprint of the cars ahead. I see the car, the old car number eight of Messina, which is going pretty slow on the straight, but it's very hard on bird braking. Now I can try to overtake Mazelli in the inside. Now I am in the outside. Let me keep the line. Boom. 
Oh, B4, guys. B4. Now, let's see what happens with the yellow car ahead. I felt like he was struggling with the top speed. And yes, he is. He is. Even with the slipstream, he's not as fast as I expect. And now I have Paulini in front of me. Messina on the left and Claudio Capelli in the lead. Let me try to get him to the inside here in the last corner. Boom! P3, guys. I am virtually on the podium. But now, just look at what happens in the longest straight of the championship. Look at this. I take the toe of Bolini. Messina takes my toe, but it looks like his car is not pushing on the straight. Now I can easily overtake Bolini. Whoa! Look at Messina in the inside. Where did he break? Man! And Bolini is still resisting in the inside in turn two. And he's still there. I cannot close the line, but I can take the slippery of Messina. Look at this. We are side by side with Bolini in this super long left hand corner. But then we get to the braking. Are much more confident in braking. And I'm safe in P3. But guys, what did Messina do in the end of the straight? I have to overtake him now as soon as possible because Capelli now in the lead down there is running away and I cannot let him go. I have to keep my car close to the slipstream of Capelli because otherwise I will not be able to take him to catch him anymore. Now look at this side by side in the inside of Messina. Boom! B2! The feeling that I have today with this car on this track is just insane. However, I was expecting that because I already raced in this track with your NASCAR last year, so I know it, while all the other drivers don't know the track. Well, all the others apart from Claudio Capelli, which at the moment is in P1, and he's driving really fast. Now, I have to take the best possible result out of this situation. I passed all the cars except from Claudio. I can really win this race, and that will be so important for the championship. to be as smooth as possible because I am close to feel the Claudio Capelli car slipstream. I cannot let him go. I was faster on the free practice and I have to be as fast as I was also here in the race. 12 minutes to go. I can already feel the slipstream. Look at this. Look at this. It's actually sucking me close to him. Whoa! He locked up the tires. He went wide in the chicane. Let's see if the chicane is like Monza, where if you cut, you lose time. Actually not. Here in Monza, you gain time. Look at this. He gained time. I hope he lifts a bit just to reestablish the, the, the gap we had. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And now I'm back close to him. And I can study his line. I can see where he fa he's faster than me, where I'm faster than him and I can easily try to understand what I can try the overtake. I have plenty of time. We are not even to the half of the race, so I can start him. We go downhill in this super amazing, exciting, long sequence of super fast corners, which for us are actually not corners. We get again to the middle of the sector two. This corner, guys, is super insane. We are so fast in this right-hand corner. Now, we get to the part where with your NASCAR, I was super fast on the rain. Let's see if I can do the same here with the Legend Cars on the dry. Actually, I have the same pace of Capelli, so this is not the part where I make the difference. Actually, he's a bit faster than me even, but look at this. Look at the toe he gives me. Will I try to overtake him now in the last corner? I think not. I think I will wait for the main straight. And that's it. I just lift. Guys, the toe is so powerful that I'm driving at 50% of throttle on the straight when I am in the toe of Capelli. Now look at this. These two last corners. This is where I can make a big difference. In the penultimate corner, I was faster. In the exit of the final corner, I am faster. And there we go. There we go. Give me your toe, Claudio. Give me your slipstream. We get to turn one. And now we will see who breaks the last. We get there. I will break in a harder meters. Let's see who is the last in breaking. I am. I am. Guys, P1. In just six minutes, I was able to overtake everybody and going from P12 to P1. What a race I'm doing! Guys, that's impressive! The feeling that I have here in most with this car is just insane. Now, Capelli is behind me and he will have my slipstream, so 
I have to try to do something almost impossible. I have to do every corner perfectly just to gain those tens of a second corner by corner and get myself out of the slipstream. If I can do it, I can really bring home a victory. What do you think? Do you think I can do it? In Euronasca, we've certainly seen them wheel to wheel in Euro Legend Cup mercifully with a bit of a break before the Euro NASCAR 2 race later on so they won't be too hot and bothered when they hop into the big stock car later on but for now they've got seven minutes and 40 seconds of racing they've got a bit of a gap between themselves and the chasing pack I think we're going to have a proper scrap for the lead here it's also getting very close in the battle for fourth position So Nasca has managed to get his way from 11th place to first. Last on the grid to first in the race with four minutes and 38 seconds left to go. But Claudio Romeggio Capelli is yet to let him break the slipstream. And look how much deeper he is on the braking into turn 10. Just losing it a little bit there. Lost a bit of momentum to Nasca. But will still be close enough to reap the benefits of a toe down the main straight and that's really the problem for Nasca. I think overall across the lap he's a lot quicker but he's not quick enough to completely eradicate the threat from Capelli behind although this time timer just got to zero these are the two final corners and i cannot see anymore claudio in my mirrors guys this is the first time in my life that starting from last position i finished the race in p1 Boom! I done what have I done for the first time in my life I Ooh. succeeded winning a race by starting last I have never done it before and I can truly tell you I really loved it <laughs> This was a phenomenal shot. I gained so many points, but really a lot. Five points on the second, plus four bonus points for the comeback, nine points gained. And so I am back in the lead in the standings. But, as you may have seen from the intro, a lot of crazy things still have to happen. Because the rain will come, and you will see some crazy things. But really crazy. Are you ready for it?